faithful have been given a whole lot of pleasure and pride by these young men in the purple and white. And this year, once again, Lions find themselves in a state championship on the road. That's a big challenge. It's been quite a while since this game has been won by the road team. Well, if these road warriors can keep up like they have the previous two weeks, we might see a little bit of history made this afternoon. The road is definitely tough, John. It'll take another outstanding effort by the Santa Rosa Lions to overcome that road advantage that the Dexter Demons could enjoy here this afternoon. We see the Dexter band getting ready to do their thing down below. Everybody's a little bit an, uh, in, in anticipation, kind of quiet for a second there, John. They, the Lions and the Demons didn't come out of the dressing rooms, but that's the Lion fans, folks. The Lion fans on the far side. And now the Demon fans will have something to cheer about. So they're breaking out of the locker room. The clock shows 5, 12 until kickoff. And boy, oh boy, it's just anticipation. It's like the plane on the runway. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. Their belts are fastened. The teams are in the locker room banging on each other's helmets. It'll be about two or three minutes before they're back on the gridiron. Well, everybody uh, gets here a little early to these state championship games. They don't want to take a chance of experiencing long lines and things like that. So they get over there and they sit around. They get a little antsy, John, I think. And, and uh, the fans have been here for a long time, especially the Lion fans. And now the demons, as you can hear, come out of the dressing room. And the Lions come out of the dressing room. Boy, oh boy, classic weather. Two great teams, the sky filled with balloons. The band is playing America at its finest right here, Mike. And we'll be back with the start of today's football game between the Santa Rosa Lions and the Dexter Demons, the state championship in Class AA, after we take this time in for our Lion Radio Boosters. You're listening to the state championship on KSSR. Oops. Huh? Do a couple. Maybe three. All right. Coming through loud and clear, Carlitos. Oh, yeah. Right on. The crowd noise won't be a problem today. Was the, was when the crowd got real loud, was it pretty tough to hear? Huh? Was the crowd noise pretty loud for you? Yeah. Was it? Did it drown out? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, Carlitos, how many have you done? Okay. Do another one. Keep it there. Take it after this one. Carlos. Carlos. Huh? We're back or what? Yes. We are in Chavez County, where the number one ranked Dexter Demons, the 11 and one on the year, are about to face the defending state champions, Santa Rosa Lions, coming in with a record of eight and four. 
The Lions with three losses to AAA opponents, those being West Las Vegas, the New Mexico Military Institute, and Taos High School, as well as that loss to Clayton. The Jack are the Demons' only loss of the year to the JAL Panthers. They're introducing the lineups now. First man out for the Lions, number 22, Louis Flores. Then number 76. Number 26, I believe there, John. That's uh, Rico. Rico Suave Baca. Then number 43, I believe, is Broadway Joe Arviso. Then they bring in number 44, the pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez. Goober, Nathan Chavez strides onto the field. Well, there's the things to come. Look at there's three seniors out there along with one sophomore, Jose Broadway Joe of Jose Arviso. Daniel Romero striding onto the field. They're introducing one of the starting lineups. Here comes Justin Zorro Zamora. Justin playing his last uh, game as a Santa Rosa Lion. Of course, Daniel Romero, you mentioned a junior. Also coming onto the field, we'll believe that's number 85. No, make that number 65, Matthew Barella. And here comes Tarzan Jason Lopez. Number 88 coming out on the field for the Lions, Jared Lujan. Number 87 also out there, David Jones. Head coach of the Lions, Frank Ortiz. The big crowd from Santa Rosa gives him a big hand. Great career for the coach and yet another championship appearance. Here come the rest of the Lions and the Lion fans on the far side on their feet cheering for their kids. Lions defending state champions and now they're about to introduce the hometown Dexter Demons. Dexter will be wearing their blue uniforms with white numerals. Dexter emblazoned across the front of the jersey above those numerals. The demons wear blue helmets with the word demons inscribed on the side. Lions in their purple pants and silver jerseys, purple numerals and white helmets. First man introduced is the quarterback Arturo Duran. Then comes number 13, Chris Martinez. Miss that guy, number 22, that's Jason Boswell. Number 24, Josh Luna. Number 85, Mr. Alonzo make that, Danny Metamontes. Number 38, Johnny Alonzo. Number 58, senior John Bobst. Number 61, Martin Mogul. Number 65, Tony Regalado, a 200-pound running back. Make that 200-pound. No, he's no running back. He's a tackle. Number 68, Tony Reyes. Number 76, Robert Martinez. Well, these demons making the most of today's success, John. They hadn't been to a state championship in a while, and they're uh, showing why they enjoy it so much. The demon pay for the rest of the Lions. Demon squad rushing out the midfield, joining the remainder of the hometown demons. The Lions huddled up on the far sideline. We already had the coin toss. The demons won and deferred to the second half. The Lions elected to receive to start the game, and they will be defending the northern goal. <laughs> The sun is out brightly. The shadows are being cast toward the northern goal. So if the sun gets in your eyes, the Lions will have it on this first period of the game. Well, John, the demons I know are fired up. They, I'm sure they're wearing their horns today. Even the cheerleaders, John, are wearing their demonic horns this afternoon. All clad in their blue uniforms and horns are fulfilling the stands as well. We got a full house here in Chavez County. A good big crowd just what you want to see for a championship game looks like standing room only across the way John a lot of fans standing up on the far side on both ends of the bleachers so there's uh, certainly a lot of lion fans here at least as many as they anticipated if not just a few more so the lions will be defending they'll be going from Mike's left to right I guess that'll be true for me too the lions are defending state champions coming in eight and four the demons coming in number one ranked with a record of 11 and one, their single loss to the Jal Panthers early in the year. Since then, they've been on a roll. Coach Ty Woods, former staff member at Santa Rosa High, gives us a slap on the jaw as he goes up to the Crows now. I don't blame him a bit, John. 
So the Lions and Demons, this should be a good one, kids. Quarterback Arturo Duran, number 10, the key on offense for these Demons. You'll probably hear his name a lot, along with Josh Luna, number 24, a running back. Three lines deep to receive in the middle, number 44, make that 43, Broadway Jordaviso to the left, the general, Lee Ray Harrison, and on the right, lucky Louis Flores. Well, let's see if the butterflies are evident here in the early going, John. You might anticipate that. I think it's the team that can keep that to a minimum will have some early success here this afternoon. Arturo Duran will be doing the booting for Dexter. He's got his foot in it. Nice high deep kick. Comes right down the field. Broadway George Riesel at the 5 to the 10, 15, out to the 20, to the 25. Hard hit by the Demons. Number 76, Robert Martinez puts the stop on Broadway at the 24. And that's where the Lions will take over first down. Well, he took a pop, John. I think they just welcomed Broadway to the big leagues. He's a sophomore. They're saying, hey, you better play bigger than that. Well, the Demon fans sure enjoyed Martinez's pop on that play, and we've got the leather laying on real hard right here at the get-go. Well, some of the fans here before game time said, we hope the Lions like to hit, because the Demons sure do. Well, let's see what happens. Single wing for Santa Rosa. The pretty boy spins and keeps, gets off right tackle, breaks a hit, breaks another, and another. He gets maybe four yards on the play before the Demons finally take him down to the deck. One of the men in the vicinity of the hit, John Bobst. It'll be second down for Santa Rosa. We'll call it five. The ball just inside the 30 of the Lions. The Lions starting with the same set they used last week. Louis Flores at tailback, pretty boy Floyd at fullback, and Rico at wingback. The pretty boy takes the snap, hands to his tailback. He's through the hole. He's to the outside. He's to the outside. He cuts the corner at the 40. Lucky Louis Flores breaks it loose for a good gain before Justin Boswell, his opposite number, makes the tackle at the 47. So the Lions break one around right in for a big first down. Nice gain that time by Lucky Louis. Beautiful blocking and pinning the demons on the inside, John. And Louis showing a little bit of foot speed that time. So Lucky Louis makes a big gainer from the tailback slot as one blue balloon is floating right about midfield. Lions have the ball, first down. Snap to Pretty Boy, he hands to his wing back. Rico Suave skipped inside a hit. Crest to his left, picks up a block. He's downfield for another first down. Rico Suave Baca with a big gain before a shoestring tackle is made by Robert Martinez to save another long piece of yardage. Lions down to the 40 of the Demons, first down. Well, after the initial pop on the kickoff, John Broadway Joe took a pretty hard one on the chin out there, but the Lions have said, hey, guys, we've come to play some offensive football here today. First down for the Lions, single wing in Demon territory at the Dexter 40-yard line. Pretty boy takes the snap, spins, keeps, off right tackle, gets five, gets six. Finally taken down there after a good six-yard gain, Chris Martinez, the primary hitter for Dexter. It'll be second down and four for Santa Rosa. John, they've tried all three running backs back there, and every one of them has been able to pick up good yardage so far. The drive down to the 34 of Dexter, 10-38 left in the first quarter. Second down. Gonzalez takes the snap, spins, gives it to Rico. Rico picks up a block and a hard hit. Shuffles off, gets another yard or two, but boy, did number 61 boggle, boggle the mind that time. Suave gets another yard after the contact, down to the 31. It'll be third and short, third and one for Santa Rosa. Pretty good gain by Rico Suave that time, but he took a pretty good shot out there. First third down play of the ball game for the Santa Rosa Lions. Inside Dexter territory at the 31. The pretty boy calls the signals. Takes the snap, spin, says, let me give it a shot. He picks up a block. He stays on his feet. First down, the pretty boy stumbles forward till he's finally decked by Justin Boswell, but not before he gets to the Dexter 23. First down, Santa Rosa. Great job of balance that time by pretty boy. He got hit as he was approaching the line of scrimmage, John, but was able to keep his footing and get a big first down there on the first third down situation of the ball game. Lions in a single wing set once again as the pretty boy takes the snap, spins, gives to Suave. Suave stopped at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by number 68, Tony Reyes, who stayed right at home and beat his blocker, and Rico had nowhere to go. So the Demons stand tall and hold the Lions to no gain. It'll be second down, 10 to go. Absolutely the first time the Demons have been able to stop the Lions short of any yardage. They did get about a foot or two maybe, John. 
maybe that. They're still now they're moving back it. the other way. Might have lost a foot or two. No more than that. The pretty boy spins from the fullback slot, stays on his feet, sheds another hit, all the way down inside the 10-yard line. The pretty boy looking good. Takes three or four shots off right tackle and stays on his feet all the way down into first and goal territory. The Lions driving right now inside the Dexter 10, down to the Demers, Demon 7 as they break huddle. A uh, great looking drive right now, John. The pretty boy at fullback calling the signals. Long count, takes the snap, spins, says, let me try it myself, goes toward the middle, still on his feet, down to about the three yard line before the Demons take him down. Well, there's hard. some hard hitting going on out there, John, but the Lions are moving the football in the right direction so far. Martin Bogle in for the last tackle for the Demons. It'll be second and goal for Santa Rosa just inside the four yard line. No score with 840 showing in the first quarter. Lion fans on their feet across the way. On a sunny day, they've got the sun in their face. The pretty boy takes the snap, spins, hands to his tailback. Lucky Lloyd Flores gets around the corner, untouched. Touchdown, Santa Rosa! With 8.28 left in the first quarter, Santa Rosa opens the scoring. They're up six to nothing when Lucky Louie gets some good blocks around the right end and gets into the end zone untouched. The Lions rip down the field on the first drive of the day. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was as impressive of drive as we've seen the Lions make all year long, John. That was uh, good offensive football on the part of the Santa Rosa Lions. Never went to the air, kept it on the ground. The fullback, the tailback, the wingback, all making contributions. Nice balance. Broadway Joe Arviso, the sophomore, out to kick the extra point. Rick Chavis on the hold. They get the ball down. The ball is up. It's good. So with 8.28 left in the first quarter, the Lions are up on top. 7 to nothing over these Dexter Demons. John, before the kickoff, let's send it back to the studios. Take a quick 30-second time in for our sponsors. You're listening to the Lions in the state championship on KSSR. Hey, Carlos. We doing okay? Okay, I'll just, just do one here, okay? Just one. We're back in Dexter, New Mexico, where the Lions took the opening kickoff and drove the ball down the field before lucky Louis Flores took it in him from about three yards away. And the Lions get on the board in less than four minutes on a very, very nice drive. Beautiful drive, John. That was uh, picture perfect that time. That's exactly what the Lions wanted to do. Establish themselves, assert their, themselves offensively, and let this home crowd and the home team know that they are the defending champions. You're going to have to take it away from us. Santa Rosa coming in with quite a rip of success. They've been in four of the five previous championship games. This time, though, they're on the road. That key drive right there, boy, that set a big, big boost in the Lion huddle, I think. I don't know if that's really set in among in the minds of fans around Santa Rosa, John. Four out of the last five years in the state championship game. Man. And three in a row with this one. Broadway puts his foot in it. Nice kick by Broadway Joe Arviso down to the four-yard line. They set up the wedge out to the 10. Oh, baby! What a shot! What a shot! Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez made the shot of his career on number 40 out there. That was Cole Perrin who went down hard. That was lion football, my friends. First down for the Demons at their own 20. Well, John, I'll tell you what, I think Broadway Joe said, is gonna say thank you to Pretty Boy. Broadway Joe says, hey, they did that to me. I appreciate you paying them back. Man, well, the Demons break huddle on their 20. Arturo Duran, that great quarterback, sets him up. He got a man set wide right. Duran takes the snap, hands to the second back. That's Luna. Luna gets a nice gain. Gain of about five yards. Jonesy in on the hit along with Slick Rick Chavis, but a good gain on first down for the Demons. We'll call it six, second down and four for Dexter. Well, if the fans back home listening today, John, are used to the muffled, nice, clean, clear sounds of the usual press box routine, they're not going to hear it today because it's a wide open press area, no windows, no doors, just an open, open uh, little facility here, but it's pretty cool. Miramontes set left this time as Dodan calls signals. There's the snap. Uh-oh, a little miscue, and now they grab him right in the middle. Goober gets Arturo Duran and says, where's the posse? Here comes Bigfoot and company, and they drag him back for a short loss. Goober gets up, fired up. 
It'll be third down for the Demons, still more than four to go. Well, I think Arturo Duran had the football, John, but didn't expect it. Nobody else moved, and he said, wait a minute, what am I going to do with this thing? I better head upfield, but the uh, Lions were able to stuff it. So a big play here, third down for the Demons on their first drive of the day. They've got it at their own 27. They need to pick up just over three yards. Duran's men are set wide to both sides with an eye behind him. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff into the middle, and it's incomplete. Number 85 in and out of his hands. That was Andy Simons that couldn't hold on to the ball, but the Lion coverage was Johnny on the spot, and Simons took a lick as soon as he touched the leather. That stops the clock at 7.05. It'll be fourth down for Dexter. And, John, that thing bounced around on a few shoulder pads out there. There was one or two, more than one or two Lions that could have had a shot at getting that thing before it hit the ground. Well, the Lions are forcing the de Demons into a punt situation. Right now, number 50, I believe, is dropping back for Dexter. We'll double check the number. He gets a good snap. Here comes the rush. He gets a high kick, not especially deep. And it comes down near midfield, bounces once. And it's inside Lion territory. So the Lions will take possession of the ball. First down on their own 42-yard line. They lead this thing seven to nothing. We've got 651 left in quarter number one. Outstanding first defensive series for the Lions there, John. Of course, I think a bad snap count that time might have hurt the Demons to some extent, but the Lions held them. So the Lions offense takes over on their own 42 after the punt. First and 10, Santa Rosa. Single wing set, the pretty boy calls the signals. Wing back set right. They hand it off to Rico Suave. He's gonna be stacked up in the line of scrimmage. Josh Luna and Arturo Duran combine on the play. And Rico never had any daylight. He got stacked up for maybe a yard loss. It'll be second down and 11, maybe even 12 at the 41. Nice defensive play that time by the Demons, John. They got into the backfield, penetrated that uh, front wall for the Lions, and were able to drop Rico for the loss, the first loss of the ball game of any significance. Pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez, the senior, calling signals. Lucky Louis Flores, a junior, a tailback. Pretty boy spins and keeps, goes off right tackle. Gets the yardage lost on the previous play, but that's about it. Three or four demons in on the pile. One of them, number 13, Chris Martinez. It'll be third and long for Santa Rosa at their own 48. We'll call it third and nine. Another big third down play. The Lions uh, were able to convert their first third down situation, but this is a third and long, John. 5.50 left in quarter number one as the Lions up seven to nothing are looking at a long third down. The pretty boy barks the signals, takes the snap, spins, gives it to Rico. Rico cranks it up. He's got a man out there. Can't catch up to it. That's number 88, Jared Stretch Luhan. That was open about the 20. Rico gave it a little bit more air than it, than it needed at the play, so he missed him by about three or four strides. But that play was there. All they had to do was make connection. Fourth down for Santa Rosa. Certainly was, John. The uh, stretch got away from the coverage that time, but Rico a little too strong on the arm that time. But they know that that's going to be available to them if need be. They completed one like that back in uh, in Eunice last week. On the 30-yard line, Broadway Joe Arviso is awaiting the snap from center in this punting situation. Here it is. Nice, clean snap. He gets a good kick away. It'll drop at the 25 and get a good bounce for Santa Rosa down the far sideline inside the 10. Oh, make it down to about the 11-yard line, and that's where the Demons will take over. First down with 529 and quarter number one. The Lions are up 7 to nothing. Well, certainly in the game of field position, the Lions have had the upper hand here in the first couple of series. This will be the second series that the Demons have had to work with. They went three and out their first series. The Lions had an impressive drive their first series, but not this time, John. The Demons held tough. It was three and out, I believe, for Santa Rosa that time, so the Dexter defense asserted itself in that situation, and now the Dexter offense would like to get into the game, too. The Lion defense playing well in his first possession. Let's see what Duran and company have in mind. First down, man split wide right. Duran takes the snap. Hand off to the right side. Oh, the Lions are all over that play, but they can't wrap him up. And he shakes around the corner for about eight yards before the stop is finally made over there by number 82. Make that, I believe that's number 82. Mr. Cribbs, no, it's Robert Jones, 87. But a good gain for the Demons. Well, John, that should have been a two-yard loss that time. He got stacked up pretty good, but was able to bounce off the initial hit and pick up a real good gain out of it on first down. We'll call it six. Second down and four for Dexter. The ball at about their 17-yard line. 
521 and counting here and make it 522 here in the first quarter. Duran's got three men split left. He's got the snap, drops back. He's looking to throw. Here comes the rush. The ball is in the air. Line coverage. The man was open. Rick Chavis on coverage along with J.R. Jimenez, but Josh Luna unable to get to it at about the 40-yard line. He falls to the deck with an empty hand. That's Similar to what happened to, for the Lions a little bit ago, John. That's right. Stretch Luan couldn't come up with it. This time it was Luna that couldn't do the work. 5.15 showing on the clock. It'll be third down for the Demons and four to go. Well, John, that brings up an interesting third down situation here. Will the Demons go to the air? Will they keep it on the ground? Boy, they like to throw that football deep. We've seen that all year long. Dodan's got the arm for it. He's been throwing the ball for these Demons for years and years and years. His big finish, his last game in a Dexter uniform this afternoon. Man split left. Dodan takes the snap. Hands to his deep back. The Lion defense wraps that baby up. Little or no gain on the play. Justin Zotto, Zamora, and Goober Chavez all over the Dexter ball carrier. Holds him to a short gain. It's going to be fourth down and about three to go. And at this end of the field, you got to think they got to punt it away. Well, the defense playing very stingy right now for the Santa Rosa Lions, John. Of course, the Demons go for it all on that long pass play instead of maybe trying to work their way away from the shadow of their own goalposts. So they've got their punters set up inside their own 10-yard line. I think that's John Bops, number 56. We'll double check. Big rush. He gets a good high kick away, bounces at the Dexter 43, and it takes a doesn't go anywhere. It stays right about there. And the Demons down it inside their own 45. The Lions will take over with good field position. First and 10 with 431 left in the first quarter. The Lions are up 7 to nothing in this championship game. Well, if this drive is to be successful, John, it'll only have to come from less than half the football field. The Lions already well into Dexter territory here at the 43 or 44. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez and company break huddle and stride to the ball. First down. Looks like the Dexters are looking to blitz. Oh, pretty boy is stacked up by that blitzing linebacker right there in the middle of the field. Number 68, Tony Reyes was there as soon as pretty boy took the ball and he stacks him up for a two yard loss. Second and 12, Santa Rosa. Well, uh, I've got to say that pretty boy Floyd did a great job just holding on to that ball because he was sit, uh, hit just as soon as he turned around, John. On the, uh, on the play that time. So good job, somebody didn't make their play in the middle. Reyes goes 240 and he brought it all on that hit. Uh-oh, almost dropped by Lucky Louie. He picked up his hands on the leather again. Gets back to the line of scrimmage almost, but that's it. Stop made by Chris Martinez. As lucky was lucky, very lucky, that he didn't lose the leather. It's gonna be third down for the Lions, another yard loss. The Demon defense asserting themselves. Third and 13, Santa Rosa. Well, they've certainly picked it up a notch the last couple of series, John, defensively, that speaking for the Demons. The Lions here with a third and long situation. Three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Lion ball, third down. Snap to the pretty boy, he spins, he tries up the middle, he shakes the hit, he gets into the secondary, he's all the way down to the Demon 36 yard line, a gain of about 10, but that's not going to get a first down, it'll be fourth down for Santa Rosa, about and three. I, and I see Goober saying, come on coach, let's go for it, he's pointing, asking coach to send in a play, we want to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to do it baby, they're going to do it, it's... It's gut check time, fourth down and three, fourth down and three. The Lions are gonna go for it. The pretty boys calling signals. Here's the snap, he spins, he gets past the line of scrimmage. He's gonna get that first down, the Lions are in business. The pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez, gets into Justin Boswell's territory and Boswell dragged him down at the 28, but the pretty boy and the Lions are on the field with the ball and a first down. Well, John, after they hit pretty boy in the backfield, just as he spun around with the football two plays ago, they ran two more plays consecutively to, to uh, Floyd Gonzalez, and he turned them into big plays both. So the pretty boy, the fullback right now, calling the signals, he's doing a lot of work this afternoon. Here's the snap, a handoff to Rico Suave, and he's stacked up in the backfield. Big hitter out there, big hitter. Rico still on the deck. He's getting up now. Man, oh man, the leather is popping out there. Both teams do know how to hit. It's going to be second down and about 11 for the Lions, a yard loss on the previous play. Well, they picked him up and slammed him down that time, John. They actually got him up in the air, got him by the legs, and went and took him down real hard. But Rico bounced right back up, and he's still in there. Under two minutes left in the quarter, second and 11 for the Lions. 
in their single wing. The pretty boy takes the snap, hands it to Lucky Louie. Lucky shakes, no, he doesn't. He's caught in the backfield by number 76. That's Robert Martinez. And Lucky is stacked up for about a five yard loss. Lands all the way back at the Demon 34 yard line where they're gonna be looking at a third and long, but there's a flag on the play and they're looking for a Demon captain to talk to. We don't know what the call is. Lion fans on the far side are hooting and hollering. I haven't seen an indication from a ref yet. Well, John, there are a lot of fans here and a lot of them on that far side of the football field. It's nice to see that sea of purple over there. But we're gonna have uh, a discussion here with the uh, official and the uh, Dexter foul. Demon coach. Dexter, personal foul, Dexter. Oh, that could be a big flag. That could make a big difference because that might net an automatic first down for the Lions and keep this drive alive deep in Demon territory. Well, we another saw another flag. Another flag flies. This time they're looking at Josh Luna. Josh is upset as he kicks the flag. He's wow. lucky to be in the game. He may have been ejected, John. That might be it. He is very upset. I don't know exactly what happened out there. Now he throws his helmet on the far side or the near sideline. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Dexter. And they have just ejected. I believe it's number 24, Josh Luna. The ball will be spotted inside the 20 at the Demons 16. The Lions will be looking at what sort of a down situation. Well, Luna needs to get his composure, John, because he's cost his team a couple of major situations here as it is and may have just lost the opportunity to play the rest of this afternoon. So the Demons are backed up once more. Another flag on these personal fouls. Unsportsmanlike conduct gets the ball inside the Demon 10-yard line all the way down to the Dexter 7. And now Santa Rosa, who was looking at third and a mile, is looking at a first and goal. Wow, huge well, flags. Two big flags, John. They march off the 15-yarder and then the unsportsmanlike 15-yarder. So a 30-yard situation there for the Lions. First and goal, Santa Rosa, the pretty boy, calling the signals. Takes the snap, spins, keeps, tries to get by the pile. He does. He gets maybe a yard, maybe two, down to around the five-yard line. Strong defense by the Demons to hold up that line offensive line. It'll be second and goal for Santa Rosa. Still at about the seven-yard line, actually. Little or no gain on that previous play. Pretty good defensive effort that time for the Demons. They're going to have to fire up, John, but they're going to have to do it and a little bit more composed, do it on the football field, get that adrenaline going again, but you don't want an outburst like Josh Luna had on the sidelines that he slammed his helmet, it went flying into pieces, John. Well, that's gotta hurt right now. The Lions with a golden opportunity, they wanna make the most of it. The Demon's trying to dig in and inspire themselves. Second and goal. Here comes Lucky Louie, he's stacked up in the backfield. Big hit out there by number 76. That's Robert Martinez. So these demons are making a stand right now, standing tall on those last two plays and stacking up Louie for a loss of a yard. It'll be third and goal from about the eight. Well, this would be huge, I think, for the demons if they could hold the Lions, keep them out of the end zone here, John, after those penalties really cost them severe yardage. If they could keep the Lions out, it would do wonders for their morale, I believe. Rick Chavez in at fullback. He spins, hands it to Rico Rueve. Rico's got some daylight. Can he outrun that man on the corner? Oh! Not quite, all the way down to the one yard line. A foot race to the far sideline. Rico Suave did struggle forward after he got hit and got out of bounds at the one. And now it's a huge play. Fourth and goal from inside the two yard line. Broadway Jarviso checks in the lineup. That might mean a field goal attempt. It might not. We can't say anything for sure. I think it means just a different blocking situation, blocking scheme for the Lions. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Fourth and goal for Santa Rosa. The snap comes to Lucky Louie. He's looking to throw. He's got the ball in the air. Oh, Broadway fell down. Broadway fell down. He couldn't get to it. He was short of the goal line anyway, and Arturo Duran was in close coverage. So even if he'd have caught the ball, I don't know if he'd have scored. So the Dexter defense comes up with a big stand there and hold the Lions on a first and goal on four downs. First down for the Demons at their own two. 
Seven to nothing, the Lions lead with two ticks left in the first quarter. Well, let's see if they can capitalize. That was indeed a big defensive stand for the Demons. They've got to feel pretty good about things after the bad, costly penalties got the Lions in uh, striking distance, but the Lions could not convert. What will that do to their morale? We'll have to see as the game wears on. This will be the last play of the first quarter. Duran, calling signals, takes the snap, drops back, looks to throw, no rush, here it is! He's got a man on the far side, and Rick Chavis there on coverage on his opposite number, Danny Miramontes. The clock runs out. We got a quarter under our belt. The score, Santa Rosa, seven, Dexter, nothing. And we'll be back with the second quarter of action after we take a time in for our radio boosters. You're listening to the Santa Rosa Lions playing here in Dexter against the Demons in the state class AA state championship on KSSR. Huh? What? We're going to do the second quarter. Yes, sir. I, I was. Oh, you called your left. I'm the guy out here. Carlitos. Try to sneak two in if we can, okay? Hey, Carlos, thank you. All right, well, we are back here in Dexter. I can't hear for the uh, crowd noise here. The uh, Demon fans really enthusiastic as we get set to begin the second quarter of action. The Lions with the lead, seven to nothing. They lost out on a golden opportunity, a first and goal to go inside the 10 yard line and were unable to convert on that situation. And the Demon stood tall. It's Demon second down now in 10. Duran calling the signals, man in motion left. Duran looks to throw, pumps once, fires it on the far sideline, it's complete. Oh, in and out of the hands of number 40 over there. That's Cole Perrin that couldn't hold on to it. Looks like he had a chance for about a six or seven yard gain, but he dropped the leather. That well, John, stops the clock at 11.55. Johnny turned around and was backpedaling trying to catch that thing. Looked like he had pretty good position on it, but apparently didn't have quite the balance he needed to pull that thing in. So it'll be third down and 10 for the Demons inside their own five early in the second quarter of play. Two strong teams competing for the class AA state championship here in Dexter, New Mexico. Duran, the senior quarterback, has got men set wide to both sides and a setback behind him in this formation. Takes the snap, drops straight back, looks to put it in the air. He does! Oh, two Lions get their hands on it. Neither one can hold on to it. Nice coverage by the San of the secondary, but... The receiver behind him was uncovered. If he could have stepped to the side, he had some clear room behind him. Well, I think they knocked each other away from the ball, John. Both of them had an opportunity maybe for the pick that time, and they knocked each other out of the play, but they knocked the ball out of the play, too. So it'll be a fourth down from, boy, inside the five. Tough situation for the punter here. So the Dexter punter standing at the back of his end zone under his goal post. Lions have two men standing around the 35. Lucky Louis Flores and the general, Lee Ray Harrison. Harrison fields it at the 35, gives it to Lucky Louie on the reverse. Lucky picks up a nice block. Oh, somebody got their clock cleaned out there by Justin Zoto Zamora, but a nice tackle was made by number 44 for the Demons, Jason McLean. So the Lions start another drive in Dexter territory at the 30-yard line, first and 10. They lead 7 to nothing with 11.40 left in the first half. The open air on the plains of eastern New Mexico, John. What a gorgeous day for a championship game here in Dexter. You couldn't do better than this. I don't think there's ever been a better game day except maybe the Lions game day a year ago when they played those Eunice Cardinals. First down is the Lions break huddle. Lucky Louis Flores, six hand off from the pretty boy. Gets around right in, gets down to the 25-yard line. Decent gain of about five yards on the Lions' first play from scrimmage. The man out there for the Demons on the hit looks like number <coughs> 51, Evan Nevarez. It'll be second down for Santa Rosa. We'll call it five to go. Nice gain that time on first down for Lucky Louie. They've got to spread it around, John, in order to keep the Dexter Demon defense honest back there. In their single wing, as they have been all day, the pretty boys barking the signals. 
Here's the snap. He spins and he keeps. He gets to the line of scrimmage. Sets a hit. Gets around the corner. Stays on his feet. Sets a shoulder hit. The pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez. Scoots down the right sideline. Cuts to the left. Breaks another pop and into the end zone he goes. With 11-01 remaining in the first half, the Lions are out in front, 13 to nothing. What a run by the pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez. John, he cut it from the far sideline. He was just a few feet away from the sideline by the time he figured out where he was going to take that football, then cut it all the way back across the field. And he shed some major pops along the way. One hit by the shoulder pads looked like they were going to hog time, but he shook that off and managed to get in the end zone. Broadway Joe Arviso in to kick the extra point. High snap. Goes over the head of Rick Chavis. The pretty boy picks it up. No, that's Broadway. And he'll be dragged down by Arturo Duran. So the Demons break that play up on the high snap from center, and the Lions get no extra point. With 11.01 left in the half, the Lions are up 13 to nothing. And we'll be back with the kickoff in 30 seconds right after we take a quick time in for our sponsors. You're listening to exciting Santa Rosa Lion Purple Pride Championship Football on KSSR. Are we 10 for it? Yeah. Are you recording? Yes. Right on. Okay, I, sh I should be able to hear you now, okay? okay. Don't yell back at me, okay, Carlitos? Okay. I've been in Santa Rosa 24. Well, the Lions are out in front with 11.01 left in the first half. They're leading 13 to nothing. The fans on the far side in the purple are on their feet. The guys in those silver jerseys are tearing it up here in this first half against a very hard-hitting team from Dexter, New Mexico. Well, John, the field position played a big role that time as the Demons went to the air trying to get away from their goal line. Might not be a bad idea to try to get something on the ground and get away from your end zone, get a little bit better field position before you start throwing the football, but I'm not the coach. Broadway squibs one down the far sideline. That'll say a big ouch to Santa Rosa, and the Demons will start on their own 35. But the Lion defense, I'm knocking on wood, Mike, in this first half, has played very well. They've played very well indeed, John. The Lion defense has been very solid. The offense, though, John, is clicking today, man. That combination, that's the first time we've seen them. Well, last week was the first time we had seen that combination with the uh, running back set, but they uh, used it very effectively at Eunice last week and again this so far in the first half. That's got to be one of the things that makes the Lion offense hard to scout is the fact that Coach Ortiz and his staff shuffle the deck so much. You never know which cards you're going to be playing against. Well, John, that might have been that some of those injuries during the middle of the season may have been a blessing in disguise because a lot of people got a lot of experience. That's Guy Don Cribs is wearing number 13 today. It's confused this announcer more than once. Wow, here they come up the middle. The Lions finally have a scrum at about the 40. Good, hard-hitting teams out there today. Both sides of the ball are really laying the pads on one another. They got a gain of five on that carry. It'll be second and five for Dexter inside their own 40. 10-41 remaining in the first half. The defending state champions, Lions, leading 13 to nothing. Well, I think if you're the Demons, they do have a quick strike capability, John, but I'm, I'm, if I'm the Demon coaching staff, we need to get something going on this drive. We can't let the Lions pull away from us and then grind it out with that single wing attack. Duran's got men split wide to both sides, and I set behind him as he takes the snap, drops two steps, puts the ball over here on number 44's numbers. Nice reception made by number 44, Jason McLean. Tarzan, Jason Lopez, and Jonesy have to come over to make the stop at the Lion 49. So for the first time today, the Demons are in the jungle inside the Santa Rosa end of the field. Well, that seems amazing in, its, in itself, John, that this is the first time they've penetrated the Lions' side of the football field. But credit the field position again because of the squib kick. They get it at the 35, and they're moving it now. Again, set with two receivers wide, one on each side. Duran takes the snap, hands to his deep back. He gets maybe three. Boy, oh boy, the Lions are ball hawking. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez in on the hit as they grab it out of the hands of the ball carrier, Cole Perrin. That was Daniel Romero that wound up with the football on, the, on his tail end, John. He just jerked it out of there, but the play had already been whistled dead. Forward progress of a couple of yards. It'll be second down and eight for Dexter. 9.33 and counting in the first half. The Lions lead 13 to nothing. The Demons have the ball at the Santa Rosa 47-yard line. 
Boy, oh boy, a beautiful day, a huge crowd, not a cloud in sight. You couldn't ask for a better day for football. Duran takes the snap, rolls to his right. Here's the option, and they're going to stack him up for a loss. Nice pursuit by the Lion defense. That play never did develop for the ball carrier. That was number 38, Johnny Alonso, but a whole bunch of Lions, including the general, Lee Ray Harrison, there in on the hit. A gain of one, perhaps, maybe a loss of one. It'll be third down and nine for Dexter, back at around the 48-yard line. I just figured out who number, was wearing number 13 out there. That's Guy Don Cribs. He's playing tricks on us out here. He normally comes out in number 88. Not today. Today, he's lucky number 13. Third down and nine for the Demons. Duran and company over the ball. Men set wide to each side. Duran takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Here comes the rush. Can he step it away? He's going to his left. Still looking to throw. He's got a man out there. It's complete. It's complete for the first down. For number 85, Andy Simons. Andy Simons makes the grab all the way down to the Santa Rosa 28-yard line. So Simons and Duran hook it up for a big play as Duran avoids the rush in the inside steps to the left and gets a ball 30 ball yards downfield into the hands of his receiver, Simons, and the Demons are in business. Nice job by Duran, John. Showed a lot of poise that time because the Lions were breathing down his neck. They chased him out of the pocket, but on the broken play, he connects for a big one. This time, a man set wide left, full house backfield. Duran takes the snap, hands to his deep back. He gets to the line of scrimmage, maybe three yards before he's taken down. Ball carrier Cole Perrin. First man on the hit, Daniel Romero. The ball spotted at the Lion 24-yard line. That'll be a gain of four, perhaps maybe even five. Second down for the Demons. 7.55 left in the first half. The Lions 13 to nothing, but the Demons have the ball and they're driving. The blue-clad Demons over the ball. Quarterback Duran sets his men up wide to both sides. Long count, snap. Fake into the middle. Rolls right. Duran still on his feet. Sheds a hit. Sheds a middle. All the way down to the Lions. Ten-yard line. So quarterback Arturo Duran carries the mail. Finally, Nathan Goober Chavez strides into that position and gets his hands on Duran and takes him down. But strong running by the Dexter quarterback. Real good job. He decided to keep it himself. We've got a timeout. Lions want to talk it over, John. Let's send it back to the studios with seven and a half minutes to play in the first half. The Lions are up 13-0. You're listening to the Lions in the state championship here in Dexter on KSSR. How many do you want? Just one. Are we through half of them yet or no? Oh, yeah. We're back in Dexter, New Mexico with 731 left to play in a great first half. The Lions up 13 to nothing, but the Demons driving. They have the ball at the Santa Rosa 10 yard line and a first and goal. Well, I don't know, Mike. It's a first and 10 plus a foot. So it's going to be pretty difficult to make a first down. They are knocking on the door right now. Well, it would be possible, but highly unlikely, John, to get that first down. You have to come within a foot of the goal line. Well, let's see what Duran and company have in mind as they split man. Nobody is split. Everybody's, well, one man wide left and a full house backfield as Duran calls the signals, takes the snap, hands to his deep back. Number 40, he gets in the middle of the line down to about the six yard line before the Lions secondary and linebackers wrap him up. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez, the first man to make contact with Cole Perrin, a gain of four. It'll be second and goal from the Lions six. 7-12 left and a half. John, quite a few Lion fans having to stand over on the far side. I, I'm assuming that most of those are Lion fans, but there's a lot of them standing over there on either side of the uh, bleachers. But the bleachers are filled with purple and white. And they have a whole bunch of visitor bleachers here on the Dexter side. They take good care of their guests here. Godan's got men split to both sides of the field as he called signals. Man in motion left his parent. He takes the snap, spins, up the middle they come. The Lions shut him down. He's not getting in the end zone. Boy, oh boy. Hard hitting in the middle of the field. This time they get to the four yard line before the pretty boy and company make the stop on Johnny Alonzo. It'll be third down and goal from about the three. Huge play coming up with 6.26 left in the half. 
Arturo Duran carried through his fake very nicely that time, John. He uh, handed it off quickly on a little counter and then faked the pass over on the flat. But he didn't have the ball, John. That was already getting stacked up in the middle by the pretty boy. Duran brings his men out of the huddle. Splits a man left. Third and goal. Duran calling signals. Takes the snap. Hands to his deep back. He gets in the middle of the line. Touchdown, Demons. With six minutes left in the half, the Demons are on the board. It's Santa Rosa, 13. Dexter, 6. With a conversion attempt yet to come. So this game has tightened up considerably, and the hometown fans over here are raising the roof right now. Well, John, they finally have something real good to cheer about. Of course, that hasn't stopped them from cheering for their team very enthusiastically this afternoon. We are in Dexter, New Mexico for the 1997 Class AA Football Championship. And boy, oh boy, have we got a game on our hands. The Lions opened up the scoring and got up 13 to nothing, but then Duran and company drive down the field. They score two, and it's seven points for the Demons now. They trail the Lions by six. And the Demon fans are fired up now, John, and so they're, that's got to pick the Demons up out there on the field as well. Ruben Ruiz puts his foot into it. Slick Rick Chavez mishandles it. Back there, and it'll be a touchback. The Lions will bring it out at the 20-yard line. Big high kick by Ruiz. And Santa Rosa will start this drive from their own 20. Well, let's see if what that nice drive by the Dexter offense and these fans getting back into the football game, what it'll do for their defense. John, the Lions would like to put a drive together here with only six minutes to play in the first half. They'd like to get this thing over towards the other end of the field, away from their own goal line. Well, both offenses have shown the ability to move the ball. Both defenses have shown the ability to stop them. This thing is still in the half. Lions single wing. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez has the lucky Louis Flores. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. Struggles board for a yard, maybe two, but that's about it. Maybe not even that. There's marking the ball right around the 21. It'll be second and nine for Santa Rosa. They're still unscrambling the pile at the middle of the field. Boy, oh boy, are these kids hitting today. 538 left in the first half. The Lions lead 13 to 7. Dexter's the last team to get in the end zone. Well, and the Demons playing without the uh, services of Josh, Josh, Luna. Josh Luna, who was ejected earlier in the football game. I haven't seen him on the sidelines for since then, John. Number 24 may have disappeared. Lions have a second and nine. They give it to the fullback, and boy, Rick Chavez spins and keeps. And number 76 is there. Robert Martinez takes Rick to the deck immediately. Little or no gain on the play. It'll be third down for the Lions with about five minutes left in the half. Nice penetration by Martinez on that play to break it up. Well, the Demons say hello to Rick Chavis that time, and they don't treat him very kindly, John. They say, hey, this is what's going to happen to you if you run with the football. 448 and counting in this first half. A tight game underway, 13 to 7. The Lions up with the ball, but they're looking at a third and 10 at their own 20-yard line. In their single wing set, double wing set this time. The snap to the fullback, Rick Chavis. He gives it to his wing back. That's Rico Suave Baca trying to get around the corner. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. The man leading the charge for Dexter is number 13, Chris Martinez, as the Lions don't even get close to first down yardage. Nice defensive stand by Dexter, stopping the Lions running back at the 25, and Santa Rosa's going to boot the wall away on fourth down. Well, they're going to have to boot it away, John, and they're going to give Dexter a pretty decent field position. You'd hope that Broadway Joe can get a pretty good kickoff here. One man dropping deep for the Demons. That's number 40, Cole Perrin, standing inside his own 40. Broadway snap is in. Oh, there's the flag. They got a piece of Broadway Joe. Broadway got the ball away, and the Demons trying to come up with a big play came in there, and they got their hands on Broadway, and there's going to be a roughing the kicker, and another flag flies. Boy, oh, boy, the flags have not been kind to the Demons here in the first half. We'll see what all the calls are in just a moment. It was pretty obvious that a couple of the demons made contact with Broadway Joe Arbiso, and then another flag flew later at about the 40-yard line. I have no idea what that one is about. Well, there's no question about the roughing the kicker, John. I think we might have some more unsportsmanlike types of comments coming from either the bench 
or from out on the field, John, but there is a flag in front of the Dexter bench right out there just beyond that 40 yard line marking out there. And I think that's what it is. Well, they've got the ball on the line of scrimmage, the 25, and they're marking it off against Dexter to the 30, out to the 35, all the way out to the 40 yard line for the roughing the kicker. And that means the Lions are gonna get another first down all the way out to the 40 yard line. So the Purple Pride on the far side enjoying that call. And once again, Broadway, Joe Arviso doing a good job back there at punter, taking that heat and getting the ball away cleanly and then getting hammered by the Demons. They undercut him pretty badly that time, John, but he got right back up and he's ready to go out there. Here's the snap to the fullback, hands to Lucky Louie Flores. Lucky Louie gets through the line of scrimmage. Drops the ball, did he fall back on it? I don't know who got the ball. It's at midfield, Lucky Louie is living up to his name. It bounced right back up to number 22's chest and he got on it at the 49. Sheesh. Very, that, that was very lucky Louie running that time. Boom baby, a gain of over nine, second down and less than a yard. We're just short of midfield. 348 and counting in this first half. The Lions up 13 to seven and they've got the ball. Well, John, you called it a little earlier. Lucky Louie handling that ball a little bit loosely out there earlier today. Oh man, Rick Chavis gets popped by number 61, Martin Buggle. Bogle was there to slap Rick as soon as the ball got to his hand. Bogle with a nice shot back there. He was way back in that backfield for the Lions. That's not where you want the defensive guys, John. You get, if you're an offensive lineman or responsible for keeping them out of there, that's not where you want them. Now, that one hurt. That one hurt Rick's feelings. It'll be third down and three for the Lions at their own 47, still in their single wing set. The snap is to the pretty boy. He gets to the line of scrimmage. He's going to get inside Dexter territory. The pretty boy gets uh, what we need and a yard more to keep the lion drive alive. It'll be a first down at the Demon 49. Nice uh, work out there by the pretty boy, John. He's been a workhorse the last few games, John. They've put him into the role of fullback, not something he played with any real significance or consistency over the year, but he did get some playing time there. But here in the playoffs, he's been pretty awesome as a fullback. So the Lions have the ball in Dexter territory at the Demon 49 yard line, 250 left and a half. First and 10, Santa Rosa. Senior Floyd Gonzalez at fullback calling the signals. Long snap count. Here it comes. The handoff to Lucky Louie. He's looking to throw. He puts the ball in the air. It's not even close to Jonesy, who is the nearest man to the ball. Also out there, Jared Lujan at around the 30. But that ball falls incomplete, stopping the clock at 2.36, and the Lions looking at second and 10. Well, it looks like the coverage was pretty good downfield, John. Lucky Louie just thought, I better just get rid of this and throw it to where nobody is out there because I don't want a defender to get his hands on this pass. So he just threw it to where nobody was standing and got away with it. We're looking right down the barrel as the Lions go second and 10 at the Demon 49. The pretty boy takes the snap, spins, goes off right tackle, sheds a hit, stays on his feet. He's all the way down to the Demon 40. A gain of nine yards. The Lions are going to be looking at a third down and one as the pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez, gets past the Lion of Crimmage and into the Demon secondary. Well, a great drive going so far for the Lions, John. Of course, it's third and short coming up. But not only are they moving the football towards that end zone, but they're chewing up the clock as well. And hopefully would keep Dexter from mounting any kind of a serious drive here in the late going. 205 showing in the half as the Lions have the ball at the Demon 30 yard line, third and one. Chain gang squared away on the far side. The pretty boy spins and keeps, stays on his feet. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Big hit out there high on the pretty boy as he got inside the 40 yard line. It all depends on where they mark it. That's gonna be almost exactly where the down marker is. Man, have we seen some hitting out here today. Both teams just really going at it. And they're gonna bring in the chains. And while they do that, John, I'm gonna go ahead and just mention that there's so many fans from Santa Rosa here. There can't be too many left back in the city of Natural <laughs> Lakes, but the ones that are, I'll bet you most of them are listening to the radio this afternoon. And it's great to have you along this afternoon here on this beautiful state championship afternoon. Man, oh man, the Lions are short by less than two or three inches. Two or three inches. I'm swearing to you folks at home, that's what it is. The ball sitting at the 39 yard line. Well, you got to think the Lions with 139 left and a half are going to go for this. I wonder, John, if you could ask for another measurement right now. I'll bet you it wouldn't be the same. It was so close. Man. Well, we hope you fans at home are enjoying this game. A big play coming up here for both teams. 
Fourth down and less than a foot for Santa Rosa. The pretty boy barks the signals, takes the snap, spins, hands to his wing back. Here he comes, here he comes, steps to the inside. Rico Suave Baca gets what the Lions need to stay alive all the way down to the Demon 34-yard line before the stop is made out there by Chris Martinez. Rico Suave gets some nice blocking around the left end, and the Lion offense is on the field with 87 seconds to play in the half. But, John, what a surge by that Dexter defensive line. They were in the backfield, but a superior effort by the offensive line to keep them just out of reach of Rico Baca. It looks like, uh-oh, uh-oh, maybe a flag on the Demons. They may have jumped offside. The blitzing linebacker, number 81, Matt Jackson, approaching that line of scrimmage. Let's see what the call is. Offside, Dexter. That'll cost the Demons five yards with 73 seconds left in quarter number two. The ball sitting at the Dexter 29-yard line. Second down. Make that. It's still first down, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I don't know. It's second down. Second down and five inside the Demon 30-yard line. Clock stopped at 1.13. Yep, first down. We got that figured out. Clock rolling. Long count by Gallegos. Make that. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez. Luis Flores takes the handoff. Goes around right in, but there's not much there. The Demons stop it for a short gain. First extra kid there, number 76, Robert Martinez. It'll be third down for Santa Rosa at the Demon 27-yard line. We'll call that a gain of two on the last play. Make that second down and three after that penalty. The Lions didn't have to burn that first down. 43 ticks left on the clock. The Pretty Boy stays on his feet after the first hit, but not the second. Finally taken down by Robert Martinez for a loss on the play. It'll be third down for Santa Rosa, and we got a timeout with 31 seconds left in the half. We'll see what it's about. The Lions have called it. So 31 seconds left to play. The Lions up 13 to 7. And we'll send it back to the studios for a time in for our radio boosters. Well, you're listening to the state championship in Class AA here on KSSR. Just one, okay? You're in. We're back in Dexter. The Santa Rosa Lions break their huddle. What did they come up with on third and old oh, medium range here by third and four? Well, let's see what Coach Ortiz and his staff do call in this situation. 31 seconds remaining in the second quarter of a six point game. Floyd Gonzalez barks the signals, takes the snap, spins, double reverse. Lee Ray Harrison's got it on the far sideline. They set out the big fence. He can go all the way. The General Lee Ray Harrison. Touchdown, Santa Rosa from 29 yards away on a beautiful double reverse. The Lions tally six more. Santa Rosa 19, Dixter 7 with a conversion attempt yet to come. Well, much to my dismay, John, we hadn't seen the General carry the ball in the last game or so, but Boy, he picked a big spot to carry it in here, didn't he? Great call. You're asking what we had for that situation. There's your answer. Double reverse to the general. Out of the uh, double wing. <laughs> Mercy. Single wing stamp to Louis Flores. He's looking to throw for the two points. He's got a man out there. It's complete. No, he's out of bounds. Rico Suave Baca had the ball in his hands, but he had his feet outside the line. So with 23 seconds, our score remains. Lions 19, Demons 7. Well, I don't like the fact that the Lions aren't getting those conversions, John. They had it open that time, didn't get it down, didn't get it done. They missed, of course, on the extra point effort a little bit ago, which kind of forced them to go for two here. Well, that's the sort of thing you got to live with. But, boy, you had to be pleased with that call and that run. The Lions come up with some good blocking on the right side of their line as Lee Ray Harrison took the handoff on the double reverse and the junior running back scoots down the far sideline and into the end zone for Lions six points. And he showed you that speed and toughness that we all know and love. Of course, he didn't have to use the toughness all that much, John, just the determination. But not only do the Lions pick up another six, but they only leave Dexter 23 seconds to work with here in the first half. 
23 seconds remaining. The defending state champion Santa Rosa Lions leading by 12 now. But you're right, Mike. Conversions make a big difference in this game. The Lions would like to stretch this thing out so that they're not sweating those points that they couldn't make on the extra points. 19 to 7. The Lions in the huddle on the south side of the field preparing to kick off. Two demons deep back around their 10 yard line. One of those men wearing number 40 is Cole Perrin. The fourth state championship appearance in five years by these Santa Rosa Lions. Demons first appearance since the 1970s. Short kick by Broadway fielded by number 81. He brings it back to midfield. Looks like Matt Jackson made the recovery. The Lions trying to catch the Demons asleep but it gives Dexter the ball and the Lion into the field and they've got time for at least three plays with Mr. Duran at quarterback. This could be very very interesting. Yes, it could, John. You give them outstanding field position here, so with 19 seconds to play, a couple of Hail Mary passes, and you never know. So right now, the Lion defense has got a hold on this series of downs. They saw their offense do some real good work on that last drive. The general, D. Ray Harrison, finishing it off on that double reverse play from his wingback position. Duran's got men set wide to both sides, single set back behind, and a man slot left. Takes the snap, drops straight back. Here comes the rush. He cranks one up downfield. Guy John Cribs almost makes the diving INT at the 15 yard line. Beautiful play by Guy Don Cribs on coverage. J.R. Jimenez there to congratulate him on that effort. And out there is the receiver for the Demons. That was Cole Perrin. Well, John, that was a great play. He was in the perfect spot, but when he went for the INT, he went diving in the air. He was parallel to the ground that time. But John, when he hit it in the air, it, it went in the direction of the demon that was out there all by himself. And it mistimed his stepping. The demon went after a reach behind him. Great defense by Mr. Cribs. 13 seconds left. Second and 10 for the demons inside the midfield stripe and into Lion territory. Goran's got men split wide, three of them. Drops back, looks to his right, looks back to his left. Here comes the rush. Oh, in and out of the receiver's hands. What a hit by J.R. Jimenez to separate number 22, Justin Boswell, from the ball. They were asking us earlier if these Lions like contact. Well, yes, they do. J.R. Jimenez with a big hit. The name of the game, John. These Dexter Demons can hit very hard. The Santa Rosa Lions came down here to hit hard. It's been a real entertaining ball game. Of course, the Lion fans have a little more to cheer about right now with that 19 to seven lead. But boy, this game's a long ways from over. These Demons have proven their toughness this afternoon. Both teams really quick. Both teams hard hitting. Right now the Demons have seven seconds a third and 10 at the Lion 49 yard line. Men split left this time. Three wide left, one wide right and a single set back behind Duran. He takes the snap, pitches to his no, he pumps. Here comes the rush. He gets away from it. He's on the near sideline, far sideline. He's out of bounds, and that's the end of the half, folks. The Lions are up 19 to 7 as we head toward the locker room. And John, we're going to go ahead and send it back to the studios, and we'll take a time in as we await Gabe, the Babe Esquivel, and his statistical information from the sidelines. We'll be back with some halftime statistics and a word about the first half after we take this time in for our. Santa Rosa Lion Radio Boosters. You're listening to the state championship in Class AA here on KSSR. I wondered whether or not this team could put it, put it all together, put the whole package together by the time the season wore down and we got into the playoffs, but sure seems like they've done just that. And as you said, Mike, timing is everything. Coach Ortiz and his staff putting the chemistry together, shuffling the deck, as we said, all year long. Well, right now, that deck is stacked pretty well. The first half, it played extremely well. The seniors, the juniors, and the sophomores, a nice mixture of youth and experience on this team, and they've played extremely well to this point. All right, John, we're going to go ahead and uh, send it back to the studios, take another time in for our Lion Radio Boosters, and we'll come back with the second half of action. <laughs> The third quarter of action coming up right after we take this time in. You're listening to the state championship football game in class AA between the homestanding Dexter Demons and your Santa Rosa Lions here on KSSR. You want some of this, John? No, I'm fine. All right. Okay, Carlitos, 
Take it after this one. Until kickoff on a sunny, beautiful day here in Chavez County in southeast New Mexico, the New Mexico AA football championship on the line. Big game this afternoon, John. The Lions are up for it. The Demons are up for it. These guys have been hitting very, very hard out there. Who's going to give in first, John? Who's going to deliver the knockout blow? Or it's like a couple of big, big old heavyweights getting out there and duking it out right now. And we're getting close to the uh, eighth round already, John. Well, the Lions warming up on the far side. The blue-clad demons getting warmed up here on the near side. Everybody down at the concession stand grabbing another hot dog and Coke before it's too late. I hope you got the popcorn and dip ready back there at the house, folks, as we're talking to you. Sunny, beautiful afternoon in New Mexico makes you feel blessed to be in the land of enchantment. Well, John, we're participating today with a couple of friends of ours from the Duke. And uh, that is none other than Tim Baca and uh, Dave Quintana. They're videotaping the game for possible production into a nice little memento, a little memorabilia for uh, Santa Rosa Lion fans. And so they're putting that thing together. We're participating. In fact, you've got three mics in front of you again today, John. How about that? I'm getting accustomed to it. I get to the point, you know, I really miss high school ball when it's over. And every year, it seems like the Santa Rosa football just gets to be more and more fun. We've had some great times, and the 97 campaign writes the, ranks right there among the best of them. John, going back to the uh, mic situation here, of the three mics that I'm putting in your face today, I know which two you like best. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. That's too easy. I'm not even going to touch that. Well, the Lions have got a good situation as they start the second half. Coach Ty Woods making like Tarzan, scrambling up toward the crow's nest here. Gives me a slap on the hat. The Lions, or Ty Woods, of course, an assistant coach here at Dexter, used to be an assistant coach in Santa Rosa. Well, right now he's wearing the blue and white, facing the purple and white. Purple and white leading 19 to 7 as we're about to begin the second half of action. Third quarter play just 30 seconds away. Well, one of the uh, detrimental things that happened here today, John, or one of the downers was that Josh Luna was ejected from the game early on. So the demons are going to have to wonder, well, what, what would it be? Where would we be right now if we'd had our full team here? Uh, but the Santa Rosa Lions, of course, are playing very tough. But there's a lot of what ifs and and uh, whys and wherefores, John. But the demons are going to have to come out in the second half, reassert themselves and start putting some points on the board. Broadway Joe Arviso has got the tee set on the 40-yard line, getting some last-minute instructions from the officials. Demon set up on the north goal line, back there deep for Dexter. Cole Perrin, number 40, and Justin Boswell, number 22. The Lions break their huddle. Here we go, kids. The third quarter about to begin in the 1997 State Football Championships Class AA. Broadway Joe Arviso. Puts his toe in it, nice kick down the middle of the field, bounces around for a while. Demons pick it up at the 15, the 20, the 25. Oh, man, loose leather, the Lions get on it. Right there on the kickoff, big hit by Santa Rosa. Shakes the ball carrier loose from the ball, and J.R. Jimenez, number 32, comes up with a big recovery. The Lions have the ball at the Dexter, 28, first down. Wow, what a hit. Well, we saw that early in the ball game, John. We saw Broadway Joe take a real pop on his first possession when the Lions first got the football. He got zonked. Then Pretty Boy Floyd returned the favor, and now this was the heaviest one of all. Both teams really hitting like gangbusters today. Pretty Boy Floyd Gonzalez calling the signals from fullback. Takes the snap, spins, goes off right tackle, gets maybe three yards, but the Demons wrap him up after a short gain. Blood and guts football. First Dexter kid there, Tony Peñones, 175-pound senior. Gain of two and a half, perhaps. Second down and a short eight, if there is such a thing. 
The ball on the 25-yard line of Dexter. Just underway in the third quarter of play, the Lions lead 19 to seven and they have the ball. Nathan Goober Chavis, the senior center, striding up to the ball. Senior pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez takes the snap. Hands to his wing back, Rico Suave Baca. Rico's tackled in the backfield. Nice penetration by the Dexter defense. Rico never had much chance. First man on the scene was Tony Regalado. It'll be little or no gain on the play. Third down for the Lions, still about seven to go. 19 to seven, the Lions up. Lions were pretty successful in the first half, John, of converting on third downs. We'll see what they can do with this one. They're deep in Dexter territory. Boy, a golden opportunity to get some more points. Lucky Louis Flores in a tailback. Rico Suave back at wing. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez goes off right tackle. Man, Dexter had the pretty boy wrapped up. He didn't want to leave his feet, but he doesn't get much. He might have gotten down to the 25, but that's it. Not a foot more than that. It's still going to be a long ball situation. Fourth down, still eight to go. The defense of the Demons hanging tough after that fumble on the kickoff. The Lions trying to get something going. We got some cheers going on the far side. The Dexter High School cheerleaders over there being very, very sportsmanlike, cheering in front of the Lion fans right now. 10.08 left in the third quarter. And the Lion cheerleaders are sitting on their duffs over there, John. Well, they'll be back, no worry. Fourth down, Lions going for it. Eight yards to go, they're at the Demon 25. Snap is to Rick Chavez. Hands to his wing back, Rico Suave Baca. They set up a fence in front of him. Can Rico get downfield? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. No, I don't know, I don't know. I think he got it, but I'm biased. I don't know, they're spotting it at the 17 yard line. That's gonna be awful close. I think the chain gang's gonna have to earn their quarter. Can't tell, first down, they call it first down at the 17 yard line. The Lions drive is alive as Rico Suave Baca shucks and jives inside the yard marker with some nice blocks out front. The Lions are in business inside the Demon 20. Good blocking, John, but Rico could have just taken the easy route and hit the sideline, John. He was right there instead. He knew he had to get a little further downfield and he did. Rick hands it to Lucky Louie. Man, nice penetration in there by number 76, Robert Martinez, to break that play up in a hurry. Also in there, Tony Regalado, number 65. Little or no gain on the play. It'll be a loss of two or three. Second down, we'll call it 12 at the 19 of Dexter. 9.21 left in the third quarter. The Lions up 19 to seven, but boy, these demons are playing it tough. Nothing is coming easy. Well, I'll tell you what, both teams are just uh, just duking it out out there, John. There's no other way to put it. These guys are just getting after each other. The Demons win a couple of plays. The Lions win a couple of plays. Boy. Slick Rick at the double wing set. Hands it to Rico Suave Bauca. He gets to the end. Stayed on his feet. Turns to the inside. Gets down to about the 17 before several Demons are there on the hit. John Bobst in the vicinity. Also out there was Danny Miramontes. It'll be back to about the original line of scrimmage and third down for the Lions. Third down, over 10 to go. We'll call it 11. 8.36 and counting in the third quarter. Alan Cisneros in the general. Lee Ray Harrison checking the lineup. Lucky Louis Flores and the pretty boy. Floyd Gonzalez check out. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what the Lions have in mind. Alan Cisneros sets up a tailback. A little motion on the line. They hand it to Allen. He's looking downfield. He's got to think about throwing. Steps out of the rush. Gets it in the air. Intercepted. Intercepted by the Demons. And they bring it out. Number 85 makes the stop for Santa Rosa. That's Robert Chavez. But a big INT. Alan Cisneros put it in the end zone. But the Demons coverage was there. And Dexter comes up with a big turnover. They'll take it back at their own 20 yard line. First down. Well, Dexter might have just avoided, if not a knockout punch, John, at least a big serious knockdown blow, but they were able to get duck under it, John, and the Lions come away empty. So 8.06 left in the first half. Make that 8.07. The Lion cheerleaders striding here in front of the Dexter stands. Arturo Duran with men split wide to both sides. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff in the middle. No, he doesn't. In the middle they go, and they don't get much. Daniel Romero stuffs that play at the line of scrimmage. No gain for number 38, Johnny Alonso. It'll be second and 10. Make it second and nine. 
19 to 7 the Lions lead but the demon defense digs in after a fumble of the initial kickoff here in the second half. Them shadows out there on the uh, field starting to get a little longer John as we get closer and closer to the uh, end of this football game. We're in the third quarter still a ways to go but boy the time continues to roll. Seven and a half minutes as Duran calls signal single set back behind him he drops looks to throw. Oh Rick Chavis got his hands on it but wasn't able to hold on to it at the 30 yard line. Looks like the intended receiver was Jason McLean, number 44, who was open on the right side, but the line coverage deflected the ball before he could get to it. And Slick Rick, if he doesn't slick slip up out there, John has a chance for an INT, but he hit the deck, then tried to, get, tried to recover and get up and make the interception, but could not get to it. So now the Demons looking at a third and nine situation at their own 21 yard line. They trail the Lions 19 to seven here in the third quarter of play. Guidon Cribs coming out to the far left side at his wing or cornerback position. Three demons set wide right. Duran calls the signals, takes the snap, rolls right, looks to throw. Here comes the rush. Duran avoids it, puts it in the air. He's got several men out there. Oh! Completion at midfield. Completion at midfield. Rick Chavis makes the stop, but not before Chris Martinez, number 13, with a big catch. And Duran avoids the rush, puts the ball deep down the field, and Martinez comes up with a big grab. And the, one of the officials comes over to the sidelines and said, we don't want to see any more of that. Martinez got up, put a knee in the face of the, the defender, Rick Chavis, and then threw the ball in his face, John, and the officials don't want to see any more of that. Big play for Duran and company to get out of the hole. He's got a man split left. Up they come the middle, number 40 on the carry. He struggles forward for about five yards. Finally, J.R. Jimenez puts the finishing touches on Cole Perrin, but the Demons have their best field position of the day, or at least of the half, here at the 45-yard line of Santa Rosa. 6.47 left in the third quarter. Lions up 19-7. The Demons with a little bit of momentum in their machine right now. Big turnaround, John. The Demon defense came up with a big play, the interception in the end zone. Otherwise, the Lions maybe get uh, close to putting this thing out of reach, but the Dexter Demons came up with the play they needed at just the right time. Well, let's see what Duran and company have in mind here as he takes the snap, fakes into the line. Here's the pitch back. The option's going to work for good yardage. Heron all the way down to the 35 before pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez and J.R. Jimenez make the stop. But a nice option by Duran to his trailing back, number 40, Cole Perrin. And that freshman trucks down the field to the Lion 35. And, John, I'll tell you, Duran took a pop that time, but perfect pitch out there. And nice performance by Perrin at the running back position, too. So the Demons and Lions duking it out right now. First and 10 Dexter inside Lion territory. At the 35, Duran. Uh-oh, motion on the line. Looks like the Lions are going to get one of their classic five-yarders here, but I guess we had to get that out of our system. Let's do it right now and won't have to deal with it anymore. Offside, Santa Rosa. That'll mark the ball at the Lion 30-yard line and give Dexter a first and five to work from. 5.59 left in the third quarter. Lions lead by 12. Demons driving in the Lion into the field. Senior quarterback Arturo Duran, one of the great kids out there today, hands into the middle. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All the way down to the 20-yard line. Does the demon ball carrier before Jones and the pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez combined to make the hit. But a strong, strong effort by number 44, Jason McLean, on that carry to get the first down. Nice job, some tough running that time, John. Found a little seam. And the Lions had trouble bringing him down. He kept those legs churning. And the Lions had a little bit of difficulty trying to get him to the deck. Another big first down for the Demons, John. They're knocking on the door. From the 19-yard line, Duran and company have the ball. First down. Here's the snap to his deep back. And the Lions can't wrap him up at the first hit or the second. But they do get him after a gain of about four. Tough, tough running out there by the Demons. Cole Perrin, number 40, doing the damage. Jason Lopez and company finally making the stop. Daniel Romero in on the hit as well. Man, oh man, oh man. 5-10 left in the third quarter. Demons trail by 12 against the defending champion Lions. Lions trying to hold the Demons out on this long drive. Lions secondary reshuffling after seeing the Dexter set. Duran calls the signals, takes the snap, rolls right, doesn't pitch, keeps it, 
The Lions are there to make the stop at the 10. It'll be short of a first down. It'll be third down and about one to go for Dexter. Third down and one for the Demons at the Lion 10 yard line. 4.36 left in quarter number three. Well, it's right there near the yard marker, John, just maybe uh, less than a yard away for this first down conversion. It's a third down, very short. The Demons in business right now, the Lion defense digging in. Let's see what happens. The Demons have driven this ball from their own 20 yard line. They've down to the Lion 10. Oh, up the middle they go. That'll be good enough for the first and goal. So the Demons keep it basic. Arturo Duran on the keeper. Gets it to the Santa Rosa eight. First and goal, Dexter. We've got 412 left in the third quarter. The Dexter Demons, the number one ranked team in class AA, going against the defending AA champion, Santa Rosa Lions. Number 61, the Dexter center, that's Martin Bogle. Breaks huddle and comes to the line of scrimmage. The rest of the Demons come out behind him. Danny Minamont has set wide left for the Demons. Duran calls signals, takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his left. He's got daylight out there. He pitches it back to the middle. It's complete. Looks like number 38, Johnny Alonzo. Makes the grab in the end zone, untouched. Touchdown, Dexter, with 340 left in the third quarter. We got ourselves a ball game. Lions 19, Demons 13 with a conversion attempt yet to come. And a very important conversion attempt, I might add, John. The Lions have already failed on two extra point attempts since their last two touchdowns, or in their last two touchdowns, so Dexter could gain an edge right here. Well, the Demons going for one. That'll get them within five. Here's a high snap to get the ball down. Is it good? No good. So they missed one, we've missed two. It's 19 to 13, the Lions lead by six with 340 left in the third quarter. Nice effort by the Demons, John. They've got the job done. They needed some points. They needed to get a little momentum back and they did just what they had to do there. But the Santa Rosa Lions did not do what they had to do. They had an opportunity for the knockdown blow and they didn't convert. They throw the interception instead. So the Demons have turned things around for the moment. An 80-yard drive by Dexter to get themselves back within a touchdown. We have got 15 minutes and 40 seconds of knockdown, drag-out action yet to come. My, oh, my, if you paid your five bucks for this one, you got your money's worth. Absolutely. This is a classic, John. Another great game. We've seen a couple already where the Lions have had to fight off some late surges by the opposing teams. These demons have said, hey, we still want to play football here in the second half. Third quarter has been awful rough on the road. Here we are in Dexter, the same old tune happening all over again. Let's see what happens here. The Demons got the ball teed up on their 40, ready to kick it to the Lions. Three Lions deep in the middle, Slick Rick Chavis, the sophomore, Junior Lee Ray Harrison, and Junior Lucky Louis Flores. Nice high deep kick. Fielded by Rick inside the end zone, and he'll keep it right there. So a touchback. And the Lions will start this drive on their own 20. First down with 340 left in the third quarter. The Lions up 19-13. And what a boot that time on the kickoff, John. He really got it deep and into the end zone and uh, doesn't allow the Lions the benefit of a run back. So two strong teams out there right now in a close match. The Lions have the ball on their own 20-yard line. First down as they come out in a single wing set. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez. Make that lucky Louis Flores in there at quarterback. They snap it to the pretty boy. He gets upfield to about the 24, and that's where he's dragged down. Everybody's seeing the ball flying all over the field. The Lions on top of it that time. It'll be second down for Santa Rosa. About six to go. 320 remaining in the third quarter of play. Lions with that slim six-point lead. Have the ball. Second down. Setting up in a single wing. The pretty boy barks the signals, takes the snap, hands it to Lucky Louie. Lucky is hitting the backfield and wrapped up for a loss. The Dexter defense comes through with a big play there. Looks like the man leading the charge, number 10, Arturo Duran, who doubles as quarterback on offense. Loss of one. It'll be third down and seven at the Lions 23. 
what a turnaround, John. These demons with a nice looking drive that time to get right back in the thick of this one. But boy, the Lions with that opportunity that they let slip away there to score some more points. The pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez has his men set in their single wing set. Here's the snap, and there's going to be a flag for motion, I'm afraid. That'll probably back the Lions up five yards. That's what the Dexter fans were anticipating. The illegal motion is the call against the Lions. Santa Rosa back up five, and they'll be looking at a third down and 12 at their own 18. Two and a half minutes left in the third quarter, and what a ball game we've got going on. 19 to 13, the Lions are up, but they're deep in their end of the field with a third and long situation. Well, we're going to find out what kind of fight these dogs have in them, John. It's the size of the fight and the dog that counts. And boy, we are at crunch time. Lion single wing going on it in third down. The pretty boy would make that Rick Chavez spins and keeps. Gets outside the 20 yard line, but the linebackers of the Demons are there on the spot. And Arturo Duran, once again, the primary hitter. The Lions are going to have to boot the ball away. It'll be fourth down. Eight to go at the Santa Rosa 22. Just over two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Broadway Joe Arviso standing on his 10, awaiting the snap from center. Demon back at his own 40, awaiting the kick. Broadway gets his good foot into it. Downs at the 46, fielded at the 40. Arturo Duran on the return. He's got it down the nose that way. He can go, no, it's not Duran. It's number 40. Cole Perrin, a freshman, takes the ball at the 40-yard line down the right sideline and into the end zone. Cuts down Demons. We've got a tie ball game with 103 seconds remaining in the third quarter. The Demons have made some magic and Dexter's right back in it with the conversion they can go ahead. They are definitely fired up, John, and so is that team on the sidelines. The Lions really, John, are going to look back at that opportunity to score and didn't convert. They can only hope for a situation here where the Dexter Demons would fail on the conversion. Well, the Lions are going to draw half the distance to the goal. Looks like they jumped the line. Illegal procedure against, no, it was against Dexter. It was against Dexter. I take it back. So the Demons have to back up five yards and try it from five yards further away. Oh boy, oh boy, interesting. Duran is the man that kicks the ball. The hold is out of Chris Martinez's hands. Here's the snap, Chris gets it down. Arturo gets it up. It's good. So the Demons are up by one. Dexter, 20. Santa Rosa, 19. With a buck 43 left in the third quarter. Well, the Demons just would not go away, John. The Lions had the chance for that uh, for that score to spread the lead out a little bit. They didn't get it done, and now Dexter is in front of the Santa Rosa Lions. So we will definitely see a gut check for the Santa Rosa Lions on this offensive series. They haven't been able to move the ball very well ever since giving it up there on the interception. First two times the Demons had the ball in this quarter, they have scored, except for the opening kickoff, which they fumbled, and the Lions, as you say, Mike, were unable to convert on that opportunity. So now the tide has turned. The Lions had the advantage in the first half. In the third quarter, the Demons have come back like gangbusters, and after scoring two third down, third quarter touchdowns, they lead the Lions by a point, 20 to 19. Well, here's where poise and experience comes into play and becomes a very important part of a football game. Do the Lions have that poise and composure to just go ahead and play their game and not let the turn of events really get them psyched up too emotionally? Freshman Ruben Ruiz about to kick the ball away. Ruben puts his foot in it. Nice high deep kick fielded by Louis Flores. They run the reverse out of the end zone. The Lions say, let's give it a shot. Wow. They get it out to about the 20. That's where they would have had it anyway. Good, hard play by both teams on that one. As the Lions bring it out. First down, Santa Rosa at their own 20-yard line. Well, John, and the Lions weren't too far away from breaking that one. They had it just needed to block one or two more guys there on the sideline. But the Demons, with some pretty decent coverage that time, keep it from turning into a big play. What they got on their last punt return, John, was a big play. 
A minute 36 left in the third quarter. Lions have it at their 21 yard line. First down. The pretty boy has the lucky Louis Flores. The tailback gets to the line of scrimmage and maybe a couple more before the Demons wrap it up. Nice pursuit by the Dexter defense. Looks like the man leading the charge was Matt Jackson, big number 81, weighing in at 205 pounds. It'll be second down and eight for Santa Rosa at their own 23. Well, the Lions lately haven't broken off any big chunks, John, not since Rico Suave converted a third, big third down play down here on the other end. But the uh, Lions, the Dexter Demons rather, have solved some of these puzzles on the single wing. The pretty boy make that slick Rick Chavez steps into the middle of the line, steps out of the secondary, still on his feet. Nice run by the sophomore, slick Rick Chavez, all the way out to the 39-yard line before he's finally dragged to the deck by the Demons. One of them in there, number 65, Tony Regalado. But the Lions get that big first down, courtesy of slick Rick Chavez from the fullback spot. And he hadn't played back there for a couple of weeks, John, but it doesn't look like he skipped a beat. On the 39, first down, Lions. Louis Flores takes the handoff from Slick. He gets outside the 45 to the 46. So the Lions pick up seven more there. Lion offense trying to reassert itself here at the end of the third quarter. It'll be second down and short. Second down, we'll call it three at the Santa Rosa 47. 24 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Lions trail 20 to 19. Rick Chavez calls the signals. There's the snap. Hand off to Lucky. Lucky shakes a hit. But here comes the pursuit, and a flag comes in late. We'll see which way that flag goes. Lions are dead giving it right now. We'll see what the call is. Ball's at the 45. Holding Santa Rosa. And the Demons will probably take that and put the Lions in a hole. They're going to put them in a hole, John, because they're not giving up big chunks of real estate right now. They're able defensively to keep them to just minimal gains. So with that situation there, they'll take the penalty, make the Lions earn it on the ground. That'll move the back the ball all the way back to the Santa Rosa 32, where the Lions are going to be looking at a second down and about 18. 20 to 19, under six seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. Snap comes to Rick Chavez. He hands to his wing back. Rico Suave. Suave trying to pick up a block. He does. Gets out to the 39. The original line of scrimmage, a gain of about 10, is going to be third and 10. We're at the end of the third quarter. Our score, Santa Rosa, 19. Dexter, 20. And we'll be back with the fourth quarter of action right after we take this brief time in for our sponsors you're listening to the lions in the state championship on kssr okay carlitos yes. just one okay? okay have we played them all already once uh -huh. okay to New Mexico for a mildly entertaining contest between the Santa Rosa Lions and the Dexter Demons for the 1997 state championship. Demons lead the Lions by one, 20 to 19, as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Lions have their ball on the 39-yard line, third and 10, as we start this fourth quarter on their own 39, working from our left to right. Louis Flores calls the signals. Hand up goes to the tailback. That's Broadway Joe, make that the pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez. He gets about 10, but he needed a little bit more. I don't know, man, that's gonna depend on the spot. I'm looking at the spot and I'm saying first down and so are they. So the Lions have it at midfield and the drive is alive. The pretty boy gets exactly what he needs. Louis Flores calling the signals, John. We had pretty boy calling him earlier as a fullback, then Slick Rick as a fullback calling the signals. Now Louis lining up under center, but they're snapping it straight to the pretty boy. This time it's Broadway Joe at fullback. He hands to tailback Floyd Gonzalez. 
Floyd down to the 45 yard line. A gain of five. It'll be second down and a four, short five for the Lions inside Dexter territory. A one point game, 20 to 19. The Lions trail, but they've got the ball. Man, oh man, what a game. Demons 11 and one. Lions eight and four and the defending state champions. Junior Louis Flores calling the signals. Second down. Snap is to Broadway. He has the tailback. Pretty boy. Pretty boy around the corner. Gets the first down. Yeah, the pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez. All the way to the 35. And the Lions are still in business in Dexter territory. Trying to get just a little bit of that Lion crowd in the microphone, John. They are on fire across the way. Lions putting together a nice drive here. Boy, do they need it. The uh, the fans here very exuberant, John, about their state championship prospects, and they let the state championship signal drop maybe a tad early, but you never know. Maybe they're right on target. Let's see what happens as Rico Suave Baca gets the handoff from his wingback slot and cruises down inside the to the 30-yard line. Another five-yard gain as the Lions are keeping it basic and moving the ball downfield. Nice run by Rico Suave Baca. Second down, five, Lions. Boy, some big plays here, the John, but a nice drive so far. We're knocking on wood. The Lions trailing by a punt, 20 to 19 after that big punt return for a touchdown. Louis Flores calling the signal, snap to Broadway. Broadway hands off to the pretty boy. The pretty boy off right tackle, down to the 25 yard line. Another nice gain for Gonzalez, and he's helped off the deck by number 61, Martin Bogle, who is in on the hit. It'll be third down for Santa Rosa, I think. Can't tell. Yep, third down. Third down and one. Ball inside the 30, almost at the Demon 25. 9.48 left in the game. Lions trail 20 to 19. Louis Flores calling signals. Snap to Broadway. Broadway hands to the pretty boy. The pretty boy hurdles the hit. He gets down to the 25 yard line. That'll keep the drive alive. Lions still tune it up, getting the first down. The pretty boy keeps the Lions drive alive. They got what they needed, one yard, and the fans on the far side are eating it up right now. Man, oh man, what a game. Gut check time, John. The Lions have proven at least they've got a lot of heart on this drive, and they've got a little ways to go yet, but they've put together a pretty nice one so far. Lions break the huddle and come to the 25-yard line of Dexter. Broadway Joe Arvizo lined up behind Lucky Louis Flores. Wing backs to both sides. Snap to Broadway. He ends up to Rico Suave Baca. Rico's going to have some daylight around the end. He gets around one hit. He's on to the darn down marker again. Rico Suave Baca with a 10-yard gain. The Lions inside the Demon 20 to the Dexter 15. Lions drive working real well right now as we work under eight minutes and 50 seconds to play. It'll be second down and short. Second down and less than a yard. Lions already out of the huddle. Demons changing their lineup. Louis Flores calling signals. Snap to Broadway, hand off to the pretty boy. The pretty boy, he's in the second day. Down to the four yard line. First down, Lions. It'll be first and goal for Santa Rosa. The pretty boy, Floyd Gonzalez, carrying the mail. Man. Well, John, I don't know if you've wondered why I'm, I'm a little speechless. This is an outstanding drive the Lions are putting together, but I'm afraid to say anything. First and goal. Lions on the line of scrimmage. Louis Flores over center. Two setbacks behind. Count comes to Broadway. He gives it to Rico. Rico trips up at the line, falls forward for a yard. It'll be second and goal inside the Demon 5. Just over eight minutes left in the game. The Lions trail by one, 20 to 19. Man, what a game we are seeing here today. Both sides having a lot to cheer about. These two teams have given it everything they've got. And I will be anxious to see the videotape that Dave Quintana and Tim Baca are putting together, let me tell you. Louis Flores. Barks the signals. Hand off to the pretty boy. He's looking for a little daylight around. Oh, he stays on his feet. Man, big hits by Dexter at the three-yard line. They keep the pretty boy from getting in the end zone. Arturo Duran leading the charge. Backed up by some of his friends, including Robert Martinez. 
Also out there, Chris Martinez. It'll be third and goal from the three. Mercy, this is a huge play. Huge. Real big play, John. Huge is, and real big and huge are very, very, very huge understatements. Enormous. Well, Louis Flores and company over the ball. They've got it on the Demon Three. All the fans locked in on the field. Louis calls the signal. Snap to Broadway. He spins. He keeps. He stays on his feet. He's to the one. It'll be fourth down from the one. Fourth down from the one. All the cards are on the table. Fourth quarter. Under seven minutes left in the game. Lions go back to the huddle. What do you do? What do you do? You call a timeout, and we'll be back to find out what they decide in this timeout after we take this time in for our sponsors. You're listening to a very exciting state championship football game between the Santa Rosa Lions and the Dexter Demons here on KSSR. Just one, okay, Carlos? Holy smokes. What a game. Uh, 26. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who gets the touch here, man. Who gets the touch? Whoa, John. <laughs> huge play. Not the game ending play, but huge. We are in Dexter, New Mexico, and this game has been somewhat entertaining. The Lions trail 20 to 19. They've got the ball on the Demon one. Fourth down and goal. The Lions, the defending state champions. The Demons with one of their best years ever, coming in at 11 and one. Lions over the ball. They're going for it. Louis Flores, the junior, calls the signals. Broadway and Pretty Boy behind him. Snap to Broadway. They hand out the Suave. He's running. He's running. He stopped. He stopped. Number 22 is out there. Justin Boswell. He makes the tackle that saves the touchdown. And Rico Suave couldn't get around the corner. The Demons dig in and stand tall. And they stop the Lions short. Number 22, Justin Boswell, a 140-pound junior, got to the outside and held Rico short of the end zone. Demons hold on to that one-point lead, 20 to 19. Well, they're holding on to a lead, John, but they're in the shadow of their own end zone there, the shadow of their goal line. We'll see if the Lions can put a defensive series together. They need one here. Sedan hands off into the middle, and the Lions stack it up. Looks like number 38 got out to the five-yard line. Johnny Alonzo on the carry. And that gives them a little bit of breathing room. Second down and six to go for the Demons. 6-17 left in the game. Dexter's up 20-19. to The Lions need to get the ball back. I think the Lion fans are a little bit stunned on the far side, John. It looked like Rico had a little room out there. He just could not get past Boswell. A great job by Boswell. Dodan's got a man set wide left. Takes the snap off left tackle, they come. Josh Cole Perrin on the carry. Perrin gets out to the seven or eight. It's gonna be third down and about four to go. 5.45 left in the game. 20 to 19, the Demons lead the Lions. Demons have the ball deep in their end of the field. Big third down here. If the Lions can make them punt, the Lions are gonna have another strong shot with the ball. Lions got from their 20-yard line down to the Demon 1 on their last drive. But Justin Boswell came through with a huge tackle. Kept the Lions short of pay dirt. Now Duran and company trying to keep possession of the leather. Duran fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, puts it in the air. It's, oh, it's complete. It's complete. The number 25, he's going to go all the way. Danny Mittelmontes gets the catch from Duran. And they go 98 yards. Made that 92 for a Dexter touchdown. So the Demons out in front, 26 to 19, with 5.02 left in the game. 
Well, John, they could virtually put it out of reach with a two-point conversion, but will they go the safe way, get one point? That would still give the Lions an opportunity with a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie this thing up, but we'll see what the Demons decide to do. Huge play that time. The Lions should never have let that play happen. They let the uh, receiver get behind the defense. Arturo Duran, the man that'll do the kicking. The kick is up. It's good. And so, with 5.02 left to play, the Demons are up by eight, 27 to 19. The Lions have five minutes to work with. Well, the Lions are going to have to pick themselves up off the deck, John. You know, that was a that was a big blow right there. Not holding the Demons deep. And well, the Lion offense came through with a great drive after the Lax Dester touchdown. They went 79 yards, but they had to go 80 to get into the end zone. And when the Demons got it back, Mr. Duran hooked it up in a hurry. The boot by Ruiz. Comes down to Lucky Louie. Uh-oh, the Lions bobble it. The Lions bobble it. They get the ball back at about their 21-yard line. Man, oh, man. The wheels are starting to get a little bit loose right now as the Lions need to readjust themselves and get their heads back in the game. Well, neither one of them was really making a call out there, John. It was Lucky Louie. It was coming to him all the way, but I think he might have been anticipating maybe Rick getting over there to make a play on it. Apparently they had a play set up or something. Anyway, it caused a little confusion, whatever it was. Louis Flores, the junior, number 22, in there calling the signals. Rick Chavis, the sophomore, checks in the lineup. Pretty boy Floyd Gonzalez checks out. Lions come to the ball, first down on their own 21. They trail the Demons, 27 to 19. Louis Flores calls the signals. The snap is to Broadway, he hands off. Looks like Rick Chavis is gonna be hammered all the way back at the 11-yard line. Rick was looking to throw, but he never had a chance as the Demon interior line was all over him. First Dexter kid on the scene, number 68, Tony Reyes. A good defensive effort that time. They just poured into the Lion backfield, never gave Slick Rick a chance to do anything. So now the Lions are looking at a second down and about 20. The ball on their own 13-yard line. 422 left in the game. Lance calling the signals. Snap comes to Broadway. He has to the pretty boy. The pretty boy around right in. Gets out to the 17-yard line. That's a gain of about four or five. It's gonna be third and long. Third and long indeed, John. This is a big Big situation here for the Lions, boy. They're gasping now. They've got to get something going in this final drive. Three under four minutes to play now. Eight points separate the Lions from the Demons. Dexter 27, Santa Rosa 19. We have seen a heck of a game this afternoon. Lions with their back to the wall. Third down, 15. Lions calling signals. That's Broadway Joe Arviso going off left tackle. He gets out to the 25-yard line. That's a gain of about eight. But it's not what they needed for the first down. It'll be fourth and seven. The Lions may have to kick it away. With 3.20 left in the game. Dexter 27, Santa Rosa 19. The Demon defense holding that Lion offense in check for the most part here in this second half. Well, John, the Lions had their opportunities. They just didn't cash in. A couple of golden opportunities. Takes the snap, gets a low kick away, bounces at midfield, takes a good line bounce, goes out of bound inside the Demon 40, and that's where Dexter will take over. First and 10 with 2.58 left in the game. The Demons have the ball and the lead, 27-19. Well, John, the big blow so far has to be that pass play. The Lions get let the receivers get deep on them. Blow number two had to be the interception in the end zone when the Lions had recovered a fumble on the opening kickoff here in the second half. Their inability to convert on that. And then, of course, they got down on the one, couldn't punch it in. Well, both teams have laid it all out on the field today. You can't say it's been for a lack of effort. Very, very proud of both squads. The Dexter fans, of course, absolutely sky high right now with the situation on the field. Cole Perrin takes the handoff from Duran, gets to the line of scrimmage before Goober and company drag him to the deck. Justin Zamora also in on the hit. It'll be second down, still about 10 to go, just outside the Dexter 40-yard line. 
240 left in the game. 27 19, the Lions trail against this Dexter Demon squad. Lion fans on the far side enjoying the sunshine, but kind of worried about the tally. Dodan and company over the ball, man split left. Hands off to Zup, loose ball, loose ball. They lay it on the deck. The Lions come up with a leather. First down, Santa Rosa at the Demon 42. So the Lions have a couple of minutes to work with and they've got the ball in Dexter territory. First down, Santa Rosa. Huge turnover for the defense there. Well, the Lions would need a touchdown, of course, John, and a two point conversion to tie this thing up. They're a ways away from doing that here, but they are on the Dexter side of the field with some time to work with. The pretty boy at fullback now. He's calling the signals. Takes the snap, hands to his tailback, Louis Flores. He's looking to throw. He's got a man out there. He catches it. The pretty boy makes the grab. He's down the sideline, comes to the inside, all the way down to the 20-yard line. First and 10, Lions. The first pass reception I've seen Floyd make this year, and it couldn't have come at a more critical time. And John, that was a big one because he had to reach down on his shoe tops to pull that thing up off the grass. Great job by Pretty Boy to maintain his composure and to pick that thing up right off the turf. So the Lions are back in the Dexter end of the field. First down, Santa Rosa near the Demon 20. The snap comes to the pretty boy. He keeps on his feet after the first hit, but here come the posse, and he might have gotten a yard, little or no more than that. It'll be second down and nine. The demon on the top bottom of the pile, Tony Regalado, a 200-pound junior. Well, I'll tell you something. These guys are going to know they've been in a football game come tonight or tomorrow. They're going to they're have a tough time getting out of bed, John, but they're going to be very thankful that they played in such a good game. One of these teams won't feel as good as the other. What a great game we've seen. The pretty boy takes the snap, hands to Lucky Louie. He's looking to throw, he's looking to throw, he's got it, he throws it. Touchdown, Lions! In the corner of the end zone, the Lions come up with the ball. Broadway, Joe Arviso, baby, it's a two-point game. 27-25, I think the Lions will go for two. I think you're probably right, John. Although I'd hate to see that on those thin limbs. Man, what a play. Broadway looks at his feet, checks and makes sure they're inside the lines. They are. Lucky Louie hits him with a perfect pass. Everything is on the line. Two points to tie it with a minute 20 left to play. Biggest play of the year beyond a shadow of a doubt. The biggest play in years for this Lion team. Lucky Louie sets up a quarterback, takes the snap. A pitch back, they get it back to Rick Jones in the end zone! Oh, he's not! He's not! He stopped short at the one-foot line! He stopped at the one-foot line! Mercy! Mercy! Big play over there by number 58, John Bops. Wow! Looked like Rick had a chance to get into the end zone, but the Demons hold him out at the foot line so with 80 seconds to play the lions trail 27 to 25. my oh my what a game what a defensive effort i think even the dexter fans are a little stunned right now because the lions have given themselves some opportunities it's not over yet you know you're gonna see the old trusty onside kick routine right here what a game one of the best championship games i have ever seen the Lions come within a foot of tying it up here in the last two minutes. They don't. And now Broadway Joe Arviso and company are going to have to turn the ball over to the Demons. The Demons have 80 seconds separating themselves from their first state championship ever on the gridiron. Well, Coach Ortiz standing across the way, his hands crossed. I know he's thinking about some of the opportunities that got away today john but give credit to these dexter demons they have fought hard especially on the defensive side where they've stopped the lions in a couple of goal line situations here in the second half and of course turned them away with a big interception early in the second half wow 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 what a game a game of inches and today it's truly been the case broadway joe arviso and company teed up at the 40-yard line Here's the boot, they squib it. 
And it's down by the Demons at their own 45. Both teams doing what you would expect. The Demons had their hands crowd up front. And it was fielded cleanly out there by number 12 for the Demons. That's Garrett Barajas. And so Dexter maintains possession. They've got a minute and a half to run off the clock. They have a two-point lead, 27-25. Well, folks, no matter what the case is, the outcome of this game, of course, is, you know, it's looking likely a, a Dexter victory here. Of course, it's not over yet. However, we know the Caravanners will be out tonight. What a performance here. What a great championship. One of the more exciting ever, I think, that I've ever seen, John. The best you and I have ever been able to cover, Mike. Most exciting and competitive game of them all. Good hand takes Justin for a ride and gives about three yards out to the Demon 48. Clock shows 70 seconds as they call a timeout. It's probably the Lions burning one, trying to keep the Demons from running the sand out of the hourglass. Coach Ortiz striding on the field. Somewhat of a dangerous play there, John, because, I mean, they, the Lions knocked it loose a few moments ago to get their opportunity, and they scored their touchdown, but couldn't get the two-point conversion. But there, uh, Dudan coming across with the ball in hand. I know it's what you do all the time as a running back or as a quarterback, but nonetheless, in this particular case, you know the Lions are going for the ball. Well, they're going to be hawking it on every play. They have no choice. they got to get the leather back. Trailing by two, the only chance they got is to get the ball in their hands one more time. 27 to 25, the Demons lead it here at home in front of a packed house. Every Dexter fan showed up. A whole bunch of Lion fans are here, too, on a beautiful afternoon and nobody's going to go away disappointed with the effort of their team. Every one of those kids out there giving 150 percent. And that's why we want to make sure the caravanners keep your dial set to KSSR. As soon as we have an idea as to what time the Lions will be arriving in town, we'll let everybody know so that you can be prepared to show your support for this great football team. Good hands over the ball. Full house backfield behind him. He hands to his deep back, Perrin. Perrin into the secondary. All the way down to the Lion 44. Boy, the stop is made by Guy Don Cribs. That might be enough. It is. Demons get a first down. A minute that might be it, John. That might seal it up. A two-point lead and a first down in Santa Rosa territory at the Lion 44. Well, the Lions made it interesting, John, with that last drive. You know, they had two opportunities there. Man, oh, man. You got a feel for those guys because they came literally less than a yard short in two different series. But you got to hand it to the Demon defense. They came up with those huge plays on their own goal line, and that's the way championships are won. Dexter looking like a number one ranked team in this afternoon game today. Dodan up the middle, gets maybe a yard, falls forward for another. Lee Ray Harrison, one of the meeting on the hit. Timeout, Lions with under 30 seconds left to play. Well, that they call their final timeout, John, but this victory is sealed. The Dexter Demons have out defended the Lions. What they did in defending their goal line a couple of times was nothing short of spectacular and from their perspective, miraculous. And I know their fans are very appreciative of that outstanding defensive goal line effort on a couple of occasions today. So the defense, as well as that strong arm of Duran and receivers like Mitamontes and runners like Perrin, put it all together and they have just enough to hold off the defending state champion, Santa Rosa Lions. The Lions, of course, have a lot to be proud of themselves, making their fourth trip to the championship in five years, winning two of them. They're gonna need a miracle to win this one here this afternoon. Well, the Lion fans across the way, I know, are going to be very disappointed, but they can't be disappointed with the effort of these Lions today. He's certainly not. Duran drops back, finally drops to a knee, and if the Lions have no more timeouts, that'll do it. So we're down to 18 seconds. The Demons don't have to hike the ball again. It's all over, kids. Our final score will be Dexter 27, Santa Rosa 25. Well, John, let's send it back to the studios until we can restore some order here. We'll be back with more exciting Santa Rosa Lion post game on KSSR.